All right, from, uh, from mysticism to something rather different. I want you to have a look at this. It's future tech, as seen in the Bond movie Die Another Day, starring Pierce Brosnan. Have a look. No biological agents in the prelim scan. He's clean. Pulse 72, blood pressure 120 over 80. Indications of neurotoxins, histamine, serotonin, and enzyme inhibitors. Scorpion venom. Liver not too good. It's definitely him, then. Definitely him. That was Pierce, the last Bond but one. Uh, Bond films might be the stuff of fiction, but this futuristic technology, which you saw on screen there, has actually arrived in Ireland with some spectacular results. It's called the Da Vinci Robot. It costs two and a half million euro. We have one of them here, and I'm joined to tell us more about it by Dr. Matt Hewitt and Professor John Higgins from Cork University Maternity Hospital. Uh, John, how are you? Matt, how are you? Um, Matt, you've actually used this machine, have you not? Yeah, I have on the numerous occasions. It's an amazing piece of technology. Now, what exactly does it do? It does a sort of surgery called keyhole surgery where we make very small holes in people's abdomen and we operate through the abdomen, avoiding large incisions on patients' abdomens, which means they recover very, very quickly. But rather than me holding the instruments with my hands, the robot holds the instruments and I control the instruments from a console, which means there's many advantages. Now, there has been keyhole surgery for quite a while. Yep. What's different about doing it with Da Vinci than doing it with the, the previous instruments? With ordinary keyhole surgery, you're looking at a screen that is in two dimensions, and therefore your depth of field is lost, whereas the robot I can see in three dimensions. With the instruments on a normal keyhole surgery, then if you move your arm to the left, the instrument moves to the right. It does exactly the opposite of what you want to do. This robot mimics exactly what the surgeon is moving with okay. their hands. So the old way, there's lots of potential for, oops. Absolutely, yeah. I went the wrong way. Yeah. This way, if you go right, it goes right. Yeah. And also, and with this instrument, I'm controlling the camera and three arms. With a normal keyhole surgery, I'm relying on an assistant who may not know what I'm trying to do and move the camera in the wrong place and may move the tissue in the wrong place and cause accidents. All right, now what kind of surgery is it appropriate for? It's appropriate for um, cardiothoracic surgery, for urology surgery, and particularly in prostate surgery, where it's been used a lot in the States and in Galway in this country. And in, in the gynecological In the gynecological area. world, what we're doing here, we're doing simple hysterectomies, and we've also done what we call radical hysterectomies. And these are really big surgery associated with cervical cancer. And we've done a couple of those ladies, and they've recovered remarkably well, and they go home very, very quickly. Now, we can't, we, we asked our, our audience to volunteer, None of them put up their hand to have a little surgery done live in studio. So instead, we have got ourselves a grape. Yep. What We've got an ordinary grape. grape. <laughs> what are we going to do with this grape? I'm going to just kind of peel the grape. You're going to peel the grape yep. with Da Vinci. Yeah. All right. Well, you get yourself set up, yep. and we'll have a look at that in a few moments. Now, uh, John, how many of these devices are there in this country? Well, there are two, Pat. There's one in Cork University Paternity Hospital, and there's one in Galway. And that's it? And that's it. How many are there worldwide? There's about 750, I think, worldwide, though the number is increasing pretty rapidly as people, have, I think, have begun to realize that this technology is not just experimental. It, in fact, has a very large role to play in the future of clinical practice. I'm watching, I see, the, I'm watching it's the grape. It's incredible. The grape's <laughs> being uh, cut. The little scissors at the top of the probe is actually cutting the flesh, not the flesh, the skin of the grape. I think, I think if you're, from a surgical point of view, it's, it, it would be hard to imagine to do that with your own hands. I mean, you would know what you want to do, yeah. but the grape is so small and you've got a natural shake in your hands that's removed by the robot. So yeah. you're magnified, you're getting rid of some of the actual defects of, of traditional human surgery. Now, the, the, the technology itself, where was it developed? What does it come like, from? Like many of the techno things in the world, it came from the American Defense Forces and NASA and their ambition to, to develop this technology. I think one of the things they wanted to do was to be able to operate on, on uh, maybe military personnel a long way from the battlefield. So while Matt's a few yards from the console, he could, he could be a long, long way away. He through. could actually be in Cork and doing this he, very procedure he, he in could. Dublin. He could, he could. All right, looking at the grape, he's just peeling he's away just a little it. bit of the skin. It's in, quite sensitive and extraordinary. You'd have to imagine inside the human abdomen, as it were, that could be a covering layer of an organ. It could be one of the covering layers out 
uh, at the walls of the abdomen that we would often try and dissect out. It wouldn't be as delicate as that. All right. So the grape is a great... Uh, it's a good test. Yeah, a good test. I mean, the, 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 the prostate gland, for example, uh, what yeah. sort of size is the it's, prostate it's, compared to this? It's, as a gynecologist, the prostate's an organ. I, I don't get to see very much. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> but, uh, but, <laughs> different, different. That's, uh, that's you and me. Uh, but... Um, it's a bit bigger than that. It's a bit bigger, bigger than, than that. that. Yeah, it is. Now, it is. It's an expensive piece of, of kit. Yeah. How does it make economic sense to have this at Cork University? Well, that, that was hospital? one of the challenges for us when we were equipping the new hospital. Not just this was the pinnacle, the last bit of equipment we actually uh, approved, but every piece of equipment we bought, we wanted to buy it at the very base level. That's how our Irish hospital system is going to improve. And this robot allows us to do surgery. Um, on patients that normally would stay in four or five days, they potentially can stay in one day and go home. Now, the biggest cost in healthcare is a night in hospital. That is a huge economic burden for, for all countries. Mm -hmm. And if we can move patients from uh, four or five day stays to one day, you can rapidly justify the cost. And that's the case we would have made to the HSE. And to be fair to the HSE, at the very highest level, we got great support in terms of getting the equipment. Um, uh, where's Christine? Christine Crowley, where are you? Hello, Christine. Um, you, you've actually been worked on by Da Vinci, isn't that so? Yes. By Matt. And, and <laughs> Matt, is, Matt as well. Matt is still peeling his grape. We leave him out of this for the moment. Um, what did you have done? A hysterectomy on Wednesday. On Wednesday? Yeah. And today's Friday? Yeah. No, I, sorry, yesterday. Thursday. I went in on Wednesday, yeah. You went in on Wednesday. Yeah. You had this done on yesterday, Thursday. Yeah. And come At out. what time yesterday? Uh, half nine. And when did you have the cup of tea? What time? Uh, half two, I think. Half two. Yeah. Now, normally... That, 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 that's unbel that's unbelievable. just unbelievable for us as medics, never mind for a patient. And, Christine, how do you feel today? Great. Just brilliant. Any pain? None whatsoever. Any marks, scars? No, I have five little plasters on me. And, the, and that's it. a keyhole, yeah. So you are proof of the pudding mm. that this machine actually can do something very dramatic yeah. and normally very problematic in jig time. Yeah, no pain whatsoever. My goodness. Well, you deserve a round of applause. Absolutely. You know, the problem is, John, yep. that everybody's going to want On one. On Monday morning. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I think the other big thing for us, Pat, is in terms of thinking about how we move the, our hospital forward, it's that if we have equipment that's at the cutting edge, if we're developing uh, you know, new procedures, then we in Ireland can be working on the added value in healthcare. And the hospitals, and all that goes into hospitals, one of the biggest economic um, you know, industries worldwide is healthcare. And Ireland should be leading. There's no reason why we can't. We have the people and we have the technology. All right. Matt, I think you've done enough. You've done very well. Well done, Matt. Fantastic. So, I mean, Christine is the living proof that this... Uh, this works. Chris, I mean, credit to Christine because she agreed to come on the programme having had an operation, a major operation yesterday. And it's also a credit to the whole staff in the hospital, from the reception staff to the nursing staff who look after Christine on the ward, to the theatre staff, the recovery staff and the anaesthetist that look after Christine. But it's, it's an amazing pathway the patient goes through and this is only part of it. But ultimately what we're doing is looking after patients and she's the ultimate proof that this is an amazing piece of technology. But also credit to the hospital staff for being able to adapt their working practice to be able to introduce this and it's credit to them as well. You, you know that our staff... Yeah. <laughs> We, 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 we have closed three hospitals, brought our staff together, and they've been so busy, as all the maternity hospitals in the country have been, and they still have found time to embrace this technology. They're simply the best they are. And with those kind of staff and this kind of technology, Ireland can do anything. All right, and John and Matt, thank you very much indeed. Thanks very much for joining us. And uh, I also... Uh, I want to thank Richard Walsh, he's the robotic clinical specialist for bringing that uh, particular Da Vinci into studio tonight. The one in Cork is still in Cork, the one in Galway is still there. That's a special one for us tonight. Now we have a prize for a member of our studio audience. Now earlier on we showed our audience this object.